Hello. So here's just a quick little update on uh, on what I've said last time. Uh, the status there was just to do some refactoring, but there turned out to be a problem. So in the last which in the last uh, thing, there was uh, I ended up on on a system where there was widget params and it would, could be built into a widget or updated. I think the last state there was for there to just be an update and widget dependent um, had to be default, so it would just update the default, but uh, so there turned out to be a problem because this would build widget uh, consuming self, so this is an, an updated version here that doesn't do that, but uh, still not, yeah, uh, similar or whatever. Um, so here uh, in text box params, the problem is here we want to have text box content, which is a mutable reference and <laughs> we can't do the system with mutable references because they'd have to be copied into the widget which doesn't work for updating it because there can only be one mutable reference and yeah so uh, this system would work however for uh, for the kind of one-way data flow type uh, GUIs that's common in web development today but I actually think it would be much better to have stuff like mutable references because especially in Rust that's a very natural pattern to have for state management because you explicitly have stuff marked as mutable which yeah I think is is a very clean abstraction for state management and doesn't need like additional libraries or stuff for it so then I decided to do it with a system here where it's just build with params and update with params and then render also gets params and handle cursor input gets params and test input post layer gets params and they all get params. Uh, so this way params don't need to be copied into the widget. Um, so I think this will be the system I'll I'll go with, but there's one problem, and that is in the or element. There is somewhat of a problem of uh, synchronization. So or lm, which is the params, I believe. I'll have to rename those, I think. But uh, this is just an attempt to built them with a macro so it's easy to add additional options but uh, so this is the params and then there's the widget itself which is sort of the same enum uh, with different not the, the moment different constraints but there you will be I guess uh, so but there is the option of like if you do build which is also layout or update uh, after that it should be guaranteed to be the same but you still have to in like render and stuff you still have to check so here this is just not actually working building but uh, here you'd have to check if it's actually the same variant and do something if it's not Maybe you could panic, but I don't know about that. Or you could render nothing. Or, but it's a little bit unclean, I think. Now, the obvious option would be to have uh, have an additional type that is produced, so you could have layout, which takes uh, which takes params and the widget and it returns laid out widget and this can then be rendered and then in layout you are sure to have them synchronized the problem there is memory allocation because in stuff like lists to produce this additional type that's laid out 
you'd have to uh, specifically not in all lists, but uh, if there's iterators, because right now we have uh, a sort of iterator. Um, it's probably not here, but there's iterator list content, and this can be. Uh, the params are an iterator and the state is a list or a vec and this is fine because the vec will not have to be reallocated uh, on each frame so it's only once and occasional resizing but uh, I really want to avoid per frame or similar memory allocation because yeah that's memory allocation is it's a cost, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it should be possible to do uh, to have a system that doesn't need it, and yeah, it'll be m a lot more performant for it. Uh, of course, another approach to this would be to have temporary allocators, so like a bump allocator that is used for each frame, but that adds a bit of additional complexity, uh, but uh, I don't want to rule that out just because uh, it is a way to have temporary allocators in... Uh, so this would be a way to enable systems like, uh, like React, where you just return a widget tree and if that's then allocated in a temporary allocator, that's much faster because the temp like a bump allocator just moves a pointer. Uh, and then after the frame is rendered, the bump allocator can just be cleared. Not actually zeroed out, but just pointer reset and yeah. Um, but yeah, so having an additional type for the laid out widget would be type system wise the cleanest I think uh, and if I were building a widget uh, a GUI library for say I don't know Haskell or some function uh, so it turns out my screen recorder dropped the last part of the recording so yeah I was just saying uh, maybe in a different programming language or with different priorities, I'd choose to have a separate laid out type, or maybe I will in the future here with some special type that can uh, allocate the memory in the widget, but only temporarily have access to it uh, in the laid out widget. Or something like that. Um, I might choose a different approach, but I think for now in Rust, I'll go with this. And just the, the OR element has to deal with the possibility of desynchronization. Or uh, I mean, theoretically, it could just do an assert style panic because it's sort of a requirement of the trait to do build or update first before render. But yeah, it's one that can't be expressed in the type system, which is unfortunate, but sometimes happens with traits. Uh, I mean, iterator is kind of similar in that way, where I think it's sort of a requirement for the type to, after returning none, to not return some, if you call it again. But it doesn't seem to be a tight requirement because there's... Uh, uh, there's a wrapper that actually ensures that for you. I think it's called Fuse or something. But yeah, uh, it would obviously be better uh, from the type system level to have a separate type for the laid out widget. But yeah, I think for now I'll leave it like this. And yeah, so. Yeah, that's the current status of that. I'll try to implement uh, implement that current uh, trait, and yeah, and I think I'll I'll stick with that uh, unless there turns out to be any other issues. Uh, I'll stick with that trait.
and yeah maybe i've missed some other solution to to the whole type problem but i've thought about it for a few hours and yeah couldn't come up with any anything and it seems unless there's some assumption i've made that's wrong there doesn't i don't think there is any other solution uh but yeah maybe i've missed something I'll certainly think about it some more. <laughs> okay, see ya.